Hello and welcome to another update video about Litecoin. So for Litecoin, the assumptions here, they are currently being followed. Yeah, the count, even though not super reliable, is still at the moment being followed. So um, in that we had, and we talked about that in the last few videos, here had a wave one, here had a wave two, then here another one, two setup that was the last support area, the last long trade area that I defined here. Again, I'm never telling you to do it. I only show you the areas where I believe the price is going to turn around. Last video I said to you, I think we were, where were we here? I said to you, it might be worth moving up the stop loss into profit because this could very well still fail before we get five waves up. Yeah, but that we need five waves up to get more confidence into um, a continuation of the uptrend. The good thing is now we've had five waves up. I think it is still the time to move up stop losses. So anybody who really entered here, anybody would now be in profit. So I think it's a good time to either realize partial profits because we are probably towards the end of a wave one, at least I think so. Um, my view would be that this is a leading diagonal in a one, two, three, four, five pattern. We've now, we have now five waves up. Um, which is a good sign, but as always, when we have a leading diagonal, we always need proof that it really is one because these can be very easily corrective patterns because of the overlap, you know. In a normal impulse, as per the Elliott wave rules, you cannot have an overlap between waves one and waves four, um, but we have it in this case, so it has to be a diagonal. It also follows the trend channel here quite nicely, this ascending wedge. An ascending broadening wedge is typically a bearish pattern, so it would normally break out here to the downside. And um, that would be in line with the Elite Wave count. I mean, the minimum expectation here was for a wave um, five here to move above the high of the wave three and possibly to reach here the trend line. Yeah, I did define that ascending channel in the last video. We've now reached it. And maybe we get a few more squiggles to the upside. I wouldn't be surprised to here push against the $78 level, maybe a little higher to um, to really touch that trend line. I think, you know, this, with trend lines as always, you know, you can draw them in different ways. If I really add it more tightly, you know, we've actually sort of done it and, and seen it. What you often see before something like that breaks down is that it um, does a so-called throw over. So it would break out and then come back. That's certainly uh, a, a quite likely. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is now adding confidence to this count, even though a leading diagonal is a bit of a rubbish pattern as per Elliott wave. So we need proof. Proof, when do we get proof? So it would be that we hold this support area. I now define this support area based on the la latest high. I have no evidence that this top is already in. So personally, if I was trading this long, I wouldn't take full profits. Now I might take partial profits, could have been a nice move up, but I wouldn't take all profits because this could still continue to the upside, but I would move up my stop loss, possibly then going back in in a wave two, trading the wave too long. And this would be an ideal target. The ideal target for this wave two would be between the 78.6% retrace and the 50% retrace. So between $64.37 and $68.92. Bear in mind, the wave two can also be quite shallow. So the $70.80 level will be support already. But yeah, I mean, again, in, in summary, this could still push a little higher, but we should now get exhausted if this really is the correct count. Um, I mean, there is another alternative wave count in which we wouldn't do that. It would be a one, two, one, two setup. And then we would now be moving up in a third wave. Um, this count is possible, in my view, less likely. Um, and it would be as so if this was a one, two, one, two, then we were, we would now be in a wave three, have reached a 1.618 extension, would come down only in a wave four and then move up in a wave five, but then come down stronger. Okay. So let me show you the, the other count. And in my opinion, there's not really a way to, to look at the, the difference here. I mean, this looks quite impulsive now. So there's certainly a possibility that we had here wave one, wave two. I need to change the colors in a minute. Um, so where are we? Where are we? I changed that to yellow just to show you the difference and change the, the degrees as well. So this is the alternative count that this is actually an impulse. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so how to trade this? Well, 
the long entry opportunity was here. Okay. So for me at the moment, I wouldn't do anything if I wasn't long here. Um, I think this move is getting exhausted quickly. So either we are coming down in a wave two, and then this would be a long trade opportunity. Again, I'm never telling you to do it. It's just what I believe would be an interesting <clears throat> trade setup. Or if we are in the yellow count, then we will only make a wave four down. And for that, I'm going to give you a support area as well. So I'm actually going to change the colors here. So this would be the green one. And then the yellow one, I'm going to give you a yellow area for it. It depends on which count is now working out. There's no way of knowing that, but I wouldn't, I would not, um, yeah, necessarily scale into a wave four personally, because you only get the wave five out of it. So it should reverse into this area. So I'm going to make that yellow. That would be area, the area between 7130 and 7433. Then it should get up, you know, in one one more wave up, and then we get a higher degree wave one, and would then come down in wave two. So these are the two possibilities, depending on if we have now um, an impulse. Well, actually, so it's either green or okay. So if we just thinking, because we had a wave one, two, one, two here then in the yellow count. So what you would get, and it's getting a bit complex now. I don't want to confuse people, so I always try to keep it as simple as possible, but. Um, Okay, so this could be a, a one, two, yeah. And then all of this of the first one, two would be the wave three. Hope you understand that because this is a one, two, three, four, five. So it would be the, the blue wave three if you want it like that. And then you get a wave four down and a wave five up. So for anybody who wants to scale into this yellow support area, by all means, um, this is one possibility, but you know, it's up to you if you want to set a stop loss below it, because if you don't, it might drop into the green support area. This is the next scaling opportunity. If this fails as well, then it may, fa may fail completely. Yeah. So these are the two possibilities only then in the, um, one, two, one, two count, this would move much higher in an impulse and would only when we get the one, two, three, four, five pattern complete, this would be again, a wave one and we would then come down in a wave two and move up from there. So at the moment it's currently primed here for, for further upside in my opinion, but short term a retracement either in this area or this again, how to trade this, you know, you can add some long positions either in here or in here. It's up to you what you, which scenario you want to go with. You can go with both and just set a stop loss below the first one. If you don't, you know, if it's not going to hold, then it may come down to the second one or have one long entry here, maybe a small one, or a very small position. If it fails, you can even set a stop loss below the green area. So it's just ideas, you know, I'm not telling you what to do, but um, either way, this was the first long trade area. I think we had some before actually. Um, and um, here it's, I think at some point time to at least move up the stop loss in, into, into profit at least. But yeah, that's where we are with Litecoin. So it's not entirely clear which of these two scenarios is working out, either the yellow one or is it the green one, but both should show further upside. Bear in mind, if it's the green one, yeah, with the green support box, we would assume it's only a leading diagonal, yeah? And in a leading diagonal scenario, we are, you know, we, we need the proof of the chart. So it's unfortunately a little bit of a rubbish pattern. Unfortunately, you get that sometimes. So as you can see here, it's not entirely clear. Yes, it's still pointing towards the upside, but it also shows you that it's not entirely clear which of these support areas is going to work out. So the market will need to show that. So um, just um, just use that information when you think about your risk management and trade management. Okay, and that's my update about Litecoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.